and welcome back to Dance with Mary NYC. I'm really excited for this month's segment. It's called Ask a Professional, and I have a beautiful dancer here with me today, Jessica Song. Thank you so much for coming. Jessica is a gorgeous dancer. She's danced with English National Ballet, and she's also danced with American Ballet Theater. I'm really excited to have her on. Uh, I met you taking class with our mentor, David Howard, who passed away a couple years ago. Uh, we used to take class together, and now you're also my friend, too. Uh, but one of the things, and I've even helped you with point shoes, right? So one of the things I noticed that Jessica does is she does something very interesting with her ribbons, and she also does something very interesting with her toe tape. So I'd like to demonstrate it. I just want to show you what the ribbons are going to look like. This is actually a covert elastic. It's mesh. And then this is a very stretchy kind of tape. And Jessica, would you help me out and demonstrate some of the things that you do? OK, terrific. Jessica, you have some very interesting things that you do with the ribbons. And I'd like to see what it is. I know you use this covert invisible. Um, and then can, can I just ask you why it is that you decided to use this? I started using these just actually recently in the last three, four years um, and I really like it. I feel that or I felt that my regular ribbons, just the satin ones, every time I'd tie them and in the middle of the second act of Swan Lake and I'd go off stage, the ribbons would be bagging around my ankle and they wouldn't stay and I don't like to tie it too tight. So, so this makes it feel more secure. Secure you... and it, it stays in place and I don't need to worry about it versus when I'm working in other ribbons, they start to get loose around my ankle. So can you show like a pointed foot and maybe a, like you point your foot, yeah, and then you go through like, yeah. yeah, see and that stays. And that stays through, you know, and it doesn't pull on your tendon, not does a, it? it? These actually people use these for tendonitis because it gives. Okay. In the ankle. I just I don't think I've ever seen anybody use it as a ribbon. Did you get that idea from someone else, or was that just something you sort of came up with? I on your just own? I think uh, another girl in ABT also does it, but I, ah. I kind of forgot that she did it, and I one day was kind of messing around and thought that it just it was a cleaner line for my ankle and my foot shape, and it blended better with my tights. So it looks invisible when you get the exactly. pink tights on. Oh, that's very interesting. You can interesting. see a slight ribbon because you still want to see something, but it's not like pink ribbon or white ribbon or, you okay. know. Okay. Okay. Have you ever had to pancake them for anything? Uh, when I'd done stuff with bare legs, bare feet, um, if they wanted a nude point shoe, like for Rotmonski stuff, a lot of times we pancake um, our shoes oh. to flesh color and then you do the ribbons as well. That's really interesting. Um, there was also something else I wanted to show everybody who used this tape. It seems really, really stretchy and I remember seeing yeah. you use it once and I was mm -hmm. like, what's that and what do you do with it? And I just had never seen anybody use this type of tape uh -huh. and it just, I would think, I mean I recommend sports tape all the time for strapping and, mm -hmm. and doing all kinds of constructive things, but I'd never seen anybody use something quite that stretchy, so I wondered if you would show sure. everybody what you do with this tape. I like this tape because it works good when you sweat, it doesn't move, it stays in place, and um, it's hyperallergenic, it's thin, and it stretches, it gives, so it won't get too... Um, like sometimes the Johnson Johnson sports tape gets like the edges get sort of if you tape I feel like around the middle of your toes that gets sort of like Does it cut into your kind of cuts in yeah a little oh, bit okay. and it's kind of thick whereas this is very very thin and it sort of molds to your foot and, and now is this waterproof I don't know if it's actually waterproof. It, it does stay, though, when I sweat. So, I mean, it, it sometimes it sh shifts a little bit, but it's not. Do you feel like this tape sort of helps with blisters and things and prevents the blisters? Definitely, definitely. If I feel like I'm starting to get a blister, I'll immediately put some of this tape on and it helps. So then my next question is, once you put the tape on, does it sort of help the thing? Because point shoes have friction. I mean, let's face yeah. it, it's friction against sure. your body and everything. Mm -hmm. um, so do you feel like this, is, this cuts down on the friction? Yeah, I do. Oh, yes. terrific. Yes. And then do you have to tape every toe or do you I, just tape? I just tape my pinky toe and sometimes if I have a blister here, I tape here um, just because my pinky toe is small and it'll, I put second skin underneath to sort of pad the nail. Oh, okay. Because it gets, okay. it hurts. Um, and then what else do you put? I see you've got some other things there. And then this is just a handy wipe grocery okay. store. So it's really kind of a thick cleaning towel. Like, like a, yeah, like a cleaning uh, Like dish many towel. professionals, I just want to point out, if people don't know, like many professionals, they don't really wear a big thick toe pad because you like to feel the shoe. Sure, yeah. yeah. Some, some, like some dancers like the bun heads, but I prefer something thinner that I sweat in it once or twice and I can throw it out and 
and use a new one. And these hold better together than the uh, kind of traditional paper towels. Right? Yes. Oh, yeah. yes, definitely. definitely. So, do you mind putting on your shoe and maybe sure. just showing everybody? I just think the ribbons are so interesting. <laughs> and then, yeah, I, I really. It was different getting used to it. It was difficult getting used to it at first because I wasn't used to the stretch. But once I did, I just loved it. I wish that I'd thought of it earlier. And then you would just tie that up like a regular ribbon. Exactly. I think a lot of the girls are doing this now. Wow. That company, I noticed. I think it just, I don't know, it gives a more flush line. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jessica, I want to talk about David Howard because that's actually how I met you, was mm -hmm. taking his class. I studied with him for, it was over 20 years, mm -hmm. I, I studied wow. with him as a teacher and taking class. And um, how long did you take class with him? Intensely every day, three and a half years. Sure. Oh, okay. So I met you during that yes. time and I would watch you working mm -hmm. with him. And uh, he was an incredibly generous person, I felt. He really gave me a lot, but I, I would see him working with you very specifically on certain types of steps and certain kinds of exercises and things like that. Now, was there anything specific about that? Uh, yes. Basically, he wanted to get my foot stronger coming back from having foot surgery. So um, you were injured? I was. I was injured and I was trying to get back in shape on my own. And uh, I ran into him in the studio and he approached me and said, let me help you. He approached you? Yes. Oh, wow. Very, that's very special. Wow, that's really amazing. I was really amazed when I would watch you because you seemed to arrive at least a half an hour before the regular class would start at 10 o'clock and you were there by about, an hour, nine, about an hour. Oh, in 9, 9 a.m. Yeah. So you would come at 9 a.m., the class mm -hmm. started at 10. And I would see you doing some very intense work through your feet mm -hmm. with him. And you, what did he call that? He, he named it something? Um, he just, Basically, he just tailored a little barrette for me a to, barrette. to okay. focus on my placement of my feet in alignment with my hips and my shoulders. And he basically changed everything the way I thought about how to dance. And did you feel like your body changed, your technique Very much. changed? Everything changed. He changed my life. He, he, was, he was magic. He really was. He was magic. Jessica, I want to thank you for coming in today. Thank you so much for having me.
I am so amazed at the things that you've shown us, and I think people are going to get a lot out of it, and um, I really appreciate you sharing those things that David shared with you. Yeah, and she's a beautiful dancer, so if you would like to hire her, we'll give you her information. Don't forget to subscribe, click if you like something, and leave your comments below.